considers the absorption studies of zinc, copper, and lead ions from pharmaceutical wastewater onto silver modified clay adsorbent. By the way of introduction, water pollution is a menace that has affected both flora and fauna. Pollutants released into the water bodies include heavy metals, toxic dyes, and several other chemicals which are from the anthropogenic sources of water pollution, which includes pharmaceutical industry. The consumption of the heavy metal in wastewater has been known to be very dangerous, and this is, has been responsible for several diseases like cancer, reproduction problem, renal failure, and several other diseases. Yes, many metals have been used to remediate the pollutants from wastewater but these metals are with attendant challenges precipitation for instance produces last load that will need secondary treatment also filtration is also limited in its application absorption technique as a method is preferred because of its flexibility it has no initial cost ease of operation and is very effective towards wide range of pollutants. Therefore, the aim of this study is to develop an adsorbent, which is silver clay composite that will be used for the removal of zinc 2 ions, copper 2 ion, and lead 2 ion that are found in pharmaceutical waste water. The reason for the use of this material is because Nanoparticles were known to have large specific surface area which can absorb a wide range of contaminants. And also, the nanoparticles being supported on the clay is because nanoparticles, when are used alone, tend to aggregate in solution. And there's also the problem of post separation, the reason why it had to be supported or anchored on clay, the methodology collection and condensation of the local clay, the plant leaves to be used for the re reduction of silver to silver nanoparticles also collected, which is a Parker biglobosa leaves. These leaves are converted into leaf aqueous leaf extracts. The aqueous leaf extract is what was used for the preparation, for the reduction of the nanoparticles. The nanoparticles were there after Immobilize on the prepared beneficiated clay to form silver nanoparticle clay composite. This clay composite was now used to was used for the removal of heavy metal present in the pharmaceutical wastewater. Effect of absorption parameters like dosage, temperature, and time were considered in the study. Isothermal and kinetics and thermodynamic study of the process was also investigated. From the results of the characterization of the prepared nanocomposite, the XRD showed that there is a successful loading of the silver nanoparticle on the clay, which is crystalline in nature. The same particle shows an average particle size of 42.90 nanometer size of particle. And also the EDS, Read characteristic length of silver, aluminium, and other elements on the nano composite. The results of the absorption shows that time affected the rate of absorption with equilibrium reached around 90 minutes. Also, adsorbent dosage also affected the rate of absorption. Adsorbent dosage of uh, 0 0.4 was found to be the most suitable. Pseudo second order kinetic model better represented the absorption kinetics. From the other results carried out, it can be concluded from the FTIR that the lead extract can be used as reducing carbon and stabilizing agent for the synthesis of nanoparticles. Also, the local clay use was confirmed calendars in nature. The result of the batch uh, absorption is the batch adsorption indicated that. As a well, those contact time and temperature affected the rate of reaction. The temperature of 30 degrees. The kinetic also shows a second order reaction. Finally, the silver clear absorbent is therefore suitable.